up YouTube, it's your boy Anime Specialist, so it was an okay episode of uh, Fairy Tale. as always there was uh, a lack of animation in this episode, but uh, I'm gonna get used to it, but anyway man, um, obviously in last week's episode we saw uh, Natsu and Lucy fighting one of the Spring and 12, and I, li I actually like his magic, his stealth magic, it's, it's pretty cool, it's one of my favorite magic in the show right now so it was cool to see them fighting against each other even though lucy was able to cancel his uh, spatial magic with her own magic that was kind of cool to see her uh, do that she's more involved uh, in the fights right now so uh, it's cool to see and I actually forgot that Brandish and her servant were in uh, the fairy tale guild, you know, in the prison. I actually forgot that. So they were going to die with uh, the other members of the guild if uh, Lucy didn't tell uh, the Sprig and Twelve. So uh, <laughs> it's not that uh, Brandish is not important, it's just that I completely forgot about her. And then uh, obviously uh, the Sprig and Twelve uh, was defeated by Natsu. Uh, I don't want to talk about uh, what happened. Uh, what happened to the Spring Dwarf? Obviously, I just like I said, not to beat him. But I just want to say he, because of uh, the heat that he emitted, uh, he just evaporized uh, the sea that was right there. You know, so so that's crazy, man. In every video, I'm saying that. Uh, Natsu, that's how strong Natsu has become. I know I, I say it in every video, but it's true, man. He's became. Uh, he's become really, really strong, and that's how hot uh, and how much heat he generates. At first, I didn't want to do a review for this episode because uh, it was kind of boring, and I'm not going to lie, but because of what happened in the second part of the episode, that's what uh, made me do a review. Obviously, we saw uh, the Sabertooth and Pegasus guild members defeated, on uh, like cross or something like that so that was kind of crazy i really didn't know that they would be defeated like that uh, i don't know who beat them, beat them it was probably a uh, spring and 12 but it's crazy man saber tooth was and is the second uh best and strongest guild behind fairy tale blue pegasus in, is in that uh, three to five range uh in the strongest guild so they were all defeated so that's crazy we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that because gadget mirage elfman uh, levy and all those guys are there so they're gonna have to defeat uh, some of the avars and power to uh, liberate uh, saber the saber tooth mem members and the uh, blue pegasus members and then we were introduced to another spring in 12 uh i don't remember his name uh sorry i'm gonna go check it out right now so his name is Nainhart and his power, his magic is really, really interesting. It's different than a necromancer. A necromancer, we saw it uh, in the Tartarus arc where he was able to revive uh, Grey's father. But his magic is pretty different. It's like illusion, but the illusion can actually fight um, uh, real life people, you know, so... That was really interesting. We saw some uh, old characters, uh, old enemies in this episode. It kind of reminded me a lot of uh, Naruto. You know, at the end of the series, there was a war and Kabuto uh, was able to resurrect a lot of people, enemies and allies, you know. So that reminded me a lot of that. But anyway, um, we saw a lot of enemy. We saw, obviously, we saw Simon. Uh, he's uh, he was he was in love with Erza. He was a friend of Jalal. He was the older brother of Kagura, you know. So her reaction to seeing him was really really cool because she hasn't seen her brother since she was she was a little kid, you know. She was searching for her brother, and when she finally found out where he actually was, he died before that, you know. So that was really really uh sad to see 
uh, just her emotion and everything but yeah it wasn't the only guy that we saw we saw uh, Ades there he was with uh, Laxis we saw a lot of enemies so it's gonna be interesting in next week's episode to see how these fights are gonna conclude because these enemies when the Fairytale Guild actually fought them they had trouble to defeat them you know so we'll uh, we'll see how strong uh, each members of the guild uh, got stronger the last thing that I want to talk about is Kagura because in this episode she had a choice. She had a choice to let uh, Jelal die or save him and do you know how hard it, it would be to save the man that killed your own brother or sister even though it wasn't really him you know. He was the guy that killed her older brother that she was uh, searching for for all these years you know so that sh should have been a really really hard uh, for her to do and i really like this fan service there we she's not in her uh, kimono anymore she's just in a bra and everything but anyway uh it should it it it, it would have been hard for me to save the man that killed a member of my family even though it wasn't really him he was controlled by uh old tier and everything another thing that i want to talk about is gray and uh, leo so they saw uh i think her name is real uh, something like that i don't know how to pronounce this but pronounce it but uh it uh, she was uh the master of gray and leon so this will be an interesting fight we'll see how emotional they will get and everything but yeah man this part of the episode really the end of the episode was the most interesting part for me because next week's episode there will be a lot a lot of emotion because of the characters that are coming but not not about the enemies but the guys that uh came back the good guys you know the guys that the the main characters really love i also really want to see a laxus reaction because obviously Ades was uh the second master of fairy tale he was a friend of mavis and everything so he was a friend of lax's grandfather you know so this will be interesting to see uh, what's gonna happen and everything maybe Ades will uh, redeem himself and and, and help uh, lax's before he disappears and everything so yeah man let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below like i said there's a lack of animation in the final season of fairy tale and that's uh, bothering me but i'm gonna get used to it and uh except for that i like the storytelling i like uh some of the uh, character arcs that are in it i really like uh, kagura obviously we're gonna see what's gonna happen with uh, jella and everything but let me know what you think is gonna happen next i do fairy tale reviews every saturday so subscribe for that and i do other anime related things like black clover reviews on tuesdays uh, the promised neverland reviews on thursdays i think there's only two episodes left so stay tuned for that and i do uh, like i said sword art online fairy tale and sometime one piece reviews on saturdays i'm still waiting for the boto anime to catch up to the manga it's gonna take a while but when it catches up uh, to the manga i will review the anime on sunday so stay tuned for that uh follow me at anime specialist uh like my name on youtube you know uh on instagram and um what it's called twitter you know so yeah man thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video anime specialist out peace